The sound of mice in the morning, I tell ya. Well, I usually start my mornings out making coffee and checking on the mice, <laughs> the mice situation. I've been trying to be better about not jumping into work straight away, which is hard when your phone is with you all the time, right? I've been trying to be conscious about just like leaving it on my desk and grabbing a book and my journal and curling up on the couch for a little bit and just having my brain off for a bit, like a little bit longer in the morning. So, I'm gonna sit and read. A few days ago, I was at the airport coming home from New York and I picked up a book. And I just haven't been like able to get into books as much as I used to when I was a kid. I think it's, it's so funny because I, I used to read so much as a kid and now I have a way harder time getting into any reading. And I've rationalized that. Because I think when I was a kid, I really wanted to escape and like I had I didn't have the control over my own life And so like being able to dive into other stories and adventures and things felt better than my real life And now it takes a lot more to find a book that's better than my life <laughs> If that makes any sense, but um, I found this book at the airport like two days ago and I've just been tearing through it. I'm already so close to the end. I took a bubble bath last night and just read so much of it. Um, but oh, it's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If anyone's looking for a book, this one's pretty good. Rachel does eye masks in the morning and so I started buying them and keep them in the fridge. It's just a nice way to wake up. I feel like my eyes are always puffy in the morning. I feel like I've just been like trying to add things like this to my morning because I feel like the way that I start my morning is the way I like have the rest of my day feel. That's not true. I get the midday scaries, but <laughs> I feel like my mornings are my favorite, my favorite time of day because I just am so intentional about like doing things that feel good, you know, like the rest of the day I just get so swept up in all the things I have to do. My brain just gets cluttered and in the morning it just feels so baseline, you know, there's no accumulation of worries and thoughts that you build up over the day. So I just get to like enjoy having a kind of like an empty calm brain and just doing things bit by bit and I wish I could like carry that through the rest of the day and maybe someday I will get to that point <laughs> but for now I'll just keep keep focusing it on my mornings oh, okay I've decided I'm gonna make scones you gotta eat breakfast right um I don't know if I actually have any ingredients for scones well I just don't have like heavy cream but we just half and half. Whatever. Who knows? Who knows if it'll work out? You just add butter. I melted some butter in with my with my half and half. So now we've got like a heavier cream. Taking you long for my morning journey. Okay, the oven is preheating. My company is launching this dress today. This dress is called the Aurora Dress. I thought I was making a nightgown, and obviously you saw I wore it to bed because it is super soft. It was made to be a nightgown. It's like loose and flowy and just so comfortable. And then once I got it on and I had the final product, I was like, I actually love this dress so much. I want to wear it not just at night. <laughs> so we've turned it into a day dress that is just so comfortable that you can wear it to bed. It comes in two colors. The 
this is the brown one. And I think I'm gonna wear this one today. Yeah, I just wanna tell you guys about it. It's officially launched on our website. You can buy it right now. This is our very first clothing launch. We've been working on so many other clothing samples and I'm so excited about them. It would be crazy cool to be able to like see people in the clothing that I've designed. So I'm gonna get back to scone making now. If you want to check out our website, you can go to loopandlaneco.com or it's linked in my bio. We're actually running a fun little celebratory promo. So if you buy the dress, you'll get 20% off any one piece of jewelry from our website. Go check us out. so aware that you're not supposed to hold these guys in the wild but this one was in my garbage and it was shaking and I, it had been, I don't know how long it had been in there and I picked him up out of the garbage and he curled up in my hand and I've been feeding him dead flies <laughs> and every time I try to put him in like the little cage setup whenever I let go well first off he doesn't want to let go he just like keeps holding on to my hand like if I set him down in there he just gets all shaky. I don't know if he's cold and likes the body heat or what, but I know I'm not supposed to be holding it. Okay, I know. I never usually do, but this one's just so sweet. And I'm gonna wash my hands really good, I promise. He's such a sweetheart. So this is how I get them back in the little traps, but I love them be in this cage during the morning when I'm still getting ready for the day and haven't had the chance to go bring them out. So I just want them to be comfy, you know, like have food and water. Okay, so now they're all in traps and I'm just going to bring them into the park and let them go. That's kind of the end of my morning. There you go. Come back here, buddies. 